The Western alliance is pulling out all the stops to try and counter Russian aggression. NATO is looking towards a Nordic expansion with Finland and Sweden possibly becoming members. The UK is sending over 8,000 troops to take part in NATO exercises across Eastern Europe. It's one of the largest deployments by the UK since the Cold War. Dozens of tanks will be sent to countries ranging from Finland to North Macedonia. Tens of thousands of troops from NATO and the Joint Expeditionary Force will be conducting drills. And Joe Biden has requested $33 billion in new support for Ukraine from the U.S. Congress. In what would be a dramatic escalation of U.S. funding for Ukraine's war with Russia, President Joe Biden asked Congress for $33 billion to support Kyiv, and the Ukrainian president pleaded with lawmakers to give the request a swift approval. Biden's massive request includes over $20 billion for weapons, ammunition, and other military assistance, as well as $8.5 billion in direct economic assistance to the government, and $3 billion in humanitarian aid. And we're facilitating a significant flow of weapons and systems to Ukraine from our allies and partners around the world, including tanks, artillery, and other weapons. That support is moving with unprecedented speed. Biden's latest pledge of support came as Russia on Thursday warned the West not to test its patience, accusing the United States and its key allies of undermining European security by openly inciting Ukraine to assault Russia. Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakrova. Kyiv and Western capitals should take seriously the statement by our country's defense ministry that further inciting of Ukraine to strike Russian territory will definitely lead to a tough response from Russia. That followed comments earlier this week from Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, who warned the West not to underestimate the elevated risks of nuclear conflict over Ukraine. No, no one should be making idle comments about the use of nuclear weapons or the possibility they need to use that. It's irresponsible. In addition to his $33 billion request, the president also wants the ability to seize more money from Russian oligarchs to pay for the war effort. We're going to seize their yachts, their luxury homes, and other ill-begotten gains. The proposal includes letting the Justice Department use the strict U.S. racketeering law once deployed against the mafia to build cases against people who evade sanctions.